Hey guys, I'll tell you what, Minute Maid Park is really a beautiful place. You were with us earlier, you can see Asher is still, still taking some BP, and everybody talks about how great the food is here at this ballpark. We're going to take you inside. They did a little media display of all the cool stuff they do here. It's Aramark, just like it is in Philly. Now, they're shutting it down here now for the day, but tomorrow night for the game, they're going to have all sorts of cool food out. We're going to talk about that pregame tomorrow, but everybody, including former Houston anchorman Jim Rosenfield, kept telling me, got to try the barbecue. Got to try the barbecue. Got to try the barbecue. So guess what we did? We tried the barbecue. Take a look. The baseball world knows all about the Astros' recent success, but in a state where everything is big and bold. All right, brother. Let's go. They have some of the biggest smokers churning out some of the best barbecue you'll ever taste. Lots of people told me on Twitter, Pinkerton's is the best in Houston and maybe even in all of Texas. They brag about their meat trifecta. Best slow, slow and low beef brisket in the city. You got the candy paint pork ribs, our signature. Then you got the delicious juicy smoked turkey breast, breast with a little bit of Cajun rub on it. Yep, that's the key. Low and slow, oak-powered flame, keeping everything going at about 200 degrees, and each brisket takes almost all day and night. They even have to have an employee babysitting the meat overnight. These are on you know, seven days a week. It'll run from Monday morning all the way to Sunday afternoon. So Pinkerton's is catering for the 750 Eagles fans coming down on a group trip to see the birds play the Texans next week. They brought out a tray full of food so we could get some video, and I promise me and my NBC10 and Telemundo 62 teammates didn't let any of it go to waste we went home with the meat sweats good food nice people while they say go astros just sit down and eat with them they're not as hardcore as philly fans wear whatever jersey you want here different here way different here you'll get the banner back and forth but it's texas dude friendly state in the in the whole united states Yum. Oh boy, brings oh. back memories, Tim. <laughs> yeah, I, don't know if it's the, I don't know if it's the friendliest state. I don't know if it's the friendliest state in the United States, but it's pretty darn friendly. Everybody here is really, really nice. And uh, Jim, uh, we were joking on Twitter yesterday that you were going to pay for all that meat. Uh, let me tell you <laughs> something. Uh, we pay for everything we use. Like when we use props, we, we pay for them, right? So the, the, the receipt came in, and I was, for some reason, the only Channel 10 person or Telemundo person <laughs> there was standing with my credit card. And uh, I had to pay it. And when Elizabeth, our boss, sees that bill for how much we spent on meat, I, I saw the bill. This is my face. It's gonna. <laughs> it's, there's gonna be a discussion about how much we money we spent on meat last night. I'm just. I'm, I'm sort of foaming the runway for you, Elizabeth. It's. It was a lot of money in meat, but it was so, so All good. Worth it. So All good. <laughs> Maybe we'll take up a pool and we'll Venmo you, Tib, so you can pick up the tab for sure. There you <laughs> please, go. Please, please. <laughs> okay. Thank right. you, Tim.